Welcome back to a brand new episode of Mushroom Programming. In today's episode, I'll show you exactly how you can write a number in Swift UI. For example, something like my number, which is plus 61042932695, and then even write a message with it. So we can say something like, hello, are you going to dinner? today and when you click on send message it will actually take you to messages it will open the messages app inside of your iphone and it will have the message already written and all you need to do now is send that message now obviously if i send it right now it will just not probably send because this is my number but basically you will be able to even see all your records, all your messages, and then keep interacting with it. You can type in any phone, phone here, and you can actually contact any number as long as you write your extension. In Australia, it's plus six one, but obviously depending on which country you're contacting, you will just need to change that and then put whatever message you are after. If this is something that you're interested in watching, then stick around and I'll show you exactly how you can do that. Okay, perfect. So now we actually need to start implementing some things. The first thing I will do is I'll actually create two variables over here and the start one will take the number that we're going to contact. So I'll say add state and then var and I'll say number to message. And this will be of type string and same thing for the message this time. So I'll say var message. And this will be the message that you're going to be writing to that number. After that, what we can do is, first of all, let's just make things look a little bit better. And we can remove the text, add a VStack instead. And inside of that VStack, that's when we're going to add our two text fields. So to do that, we can use the snippets available. So I will just open my canvas and I will drag and drop a text field. Just like this. And because we are going to have two, I will simply copy this one and paste it a second time. So for our placeholder text, or like we'll say here, I will just say enter a mobile number. And for the message, I will do exactly the same thing. I will simply say enter your message. Now, anything that you enter in any of those text fields, we want to reflect on our variables over here. So when the user enters a mobile number, we want them to show, we want it to be sent to the mobile number. So we want whatever the user enters to be saved over here. So I'll simply use a dollar sign for binding and then say number to message. And then I will say, I'll type in a dollar message and then a message. And then whatever is typed here will be saved in these two variables. After that, what we need to do is simply create our button, the send message button that I showed you earlier. And to do that, we'll simply create a normal button, open and close the bracket. Inside of here, we are going to have an action and a label exactly like this. Now for that text, we can simply say something like send message. And to get that blue and big font, all we need to do is simply say font and I will say dot title and we can give it a foreground color of blue. For the action, we are going to call a function called send message. And of course we didn't create the function yet, so let's do that right now. I'll simply come over here and I'll say func, and I'll say send message, open and close the bracket, and open and close the zigzag bracket. Give it a second and we shouldn't get any errors anymore. Now, the first thing we need to do is first create the string. So we are going to say let and we're going to say SMS and that's going to be of type, type string and it will be equivalent to the following string. Now you have to make sure that it's exactly the same as I'm writing it. So you need to have SMS followed by your and no spaces by the country code and then the number that you wish to contact. And of course right now I'm hard coding it but I'll show you exactly how we can make it something different than hard coding. After that we need to say and buddy, and that means that will be the body of the text message is equal to, and here you actually put any message you want. So we can say, hello, are you there? Perfect. After that, so this will be our message. After that, what we need to create is a string URL or a URL of type string. So I will simply say let, and I will say str URL. And again, that will be of type string and it will be equivalent to the SMS dot adding 
percent encoding. So we're pretty much just changing the encoding to actually start using it. We're going to pick the one with allowed characters. And what we're going to allow is URL query allowed, just like me. You're going to force unwrap it. And let me just do this so that we have more space to work with. Perfect. And now we actually can open the messaging application. So to do that, you simply need to say UI application dot shared dot open. And now we're going to be sending the URL of the app that we want to open, which we created at the top of it. So I'll say URL dot init open and close the bracket. Inside of here, we're going to say string and we already created that string, which is over here. So we can simply copy it and paste it over here. And we know it exists, so I'm going to force unwrap it. And we have to give it some options. And actually, we are not going to give it any options. So we'll simply type it up like this. And last thing we need is a completion handler. And again, we don't need it. Perfect. So let's just give it a second and see if we're going to get any errors. And as you can see, we're not getting any errors. And let's go ahead and run this. And I'm not, I don't think this works on the simulator. And that's why I have my phone here connected. If I go ahead and run this app and then go back to my main screen here with my phone and then click on send message, we can see that it does work. It opens that number. And because I already have myself uh, logged in, it's showing you the contact number over here and the message. But what if I want to make this a little bit more dynamic so that the user can enter any number they want? Well, let's go back and let me just put my phone down. And all we need to do is pass in the phone number, which we created over here. So it's number to message. And for the body, what we need to put is the message that we created at the top over here. Let's go ahead and run this now. And if I bring my phone right next to me, now if I put any number, and I'll try a different number this time. So let's go ahead and put uh, Australia's country code because I'm not too sure about other countries. And I can say 04, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I don't think it actually checks if it's a correct number or not. And then I can send any message. So I can say, hello, is this a real number? Let's go ahead and click on send the message. And as you can see, it does open it up. It, so it opens it up to that number. And it also has our text message that we wrote over here. And if I click send, it will just send it. If this was a contact that I already had saved, it will actually figure out that you saved it and it will show you the rest of your messages as well. And you can just carry on sending a message. Thank you all for watching. If you really enjoyed this episode, if you learned something new, make sure you do follow me. You make sure you do subscribe and leave a like. If you didn't like it, make sure you leave a comment and explain exactly why you didn't like it so I can improve this channel and provide better content. Have a good day.